Hello and welcome to Open Ground Reviewers Video Collection. I'm Arturo Garduño Magaña, Open Ground Reviewers Program Manager and Trainer at ProReview. In this video, we will explore the benefits of offering rubrics and a clear evaluation criteria as a way to reduce subjectivity, bring transparency and consistency into the review process. This video is part of a collection of seven videos on the topic of addressing and mitigating bias in the grant review process. We invite you to check out the full collection by visiting the link bit.ly forward slash open ground reviewers dash videos. We think it could be particularly useful to watch the video strategies to mitigate bias for grant program staff prior to watching this one. The content and insights presented in this video are tailored to the unique challenges and responsibilities faced by program staff, individuals working for a funding organization and may be tasked with operating the funding program, communicating with applicants and reviewers, and or are involved in selecting and deciding what gets funded. So what do we mean by rubrics in the context of grant review process? A rubric is a scoring tool developed by the funding organization to guide grant application reviewers in their evaluation with the overarching goal of promoting the consistent application of funding values, expectations, objectives, or standards. A rubric may include a series of statements or questions that may be grouped within categories that a reviewer is invited to reflect on and answer following a clearly stated scoring system. To further evaluate on the why, rubrics are typically developed to help standardize and streamline the evaluation process. The rationale is that through the standardization, we can reduce subjectivity and the impact of personal bias. Rubrics are also there to make it easier for reviewers, particularly external reviewers, to provide feedback to the grant application and ensuring that the feedback focuses on the questions that the funder is interested in having answered. When made available to the applicants in advance, Rubrics and other evaluation tools can help applicants know what level of detail and information to provide in their application. Having a review rubric publicly available also brings transparency to all parties involved and helps create consistency through the review process. However, just as about everything in this world, rubrics have some limitations. To name a few, if not designed carefully, a rubric can oversimplify complex proposals potentially overlooking nuanced and innovative ideas. If the design of the rubric unintentionally incorporates existing biases or flawed criteria, it could perpetuate or even exacerbate those biases in the review process. Strict adherence to some rubrics may not allow for flexibility in considering unique or unconventional proposals that do not fit neatly into predefined criteria. Different reviewers might interpret rubric criteria in slightly different ways leading to inconsistent evaluations. There is a risk that reviewers might lean too heavily on the rubric, leading them to overlook other important aspects of a proposal. Rubrics can provide a structured and more transparent framework for reviewing grant proposals. Nonetheless, designing them and using them in a thorough way is crucial to ensure they capture the breadth and depth of research proposals. Overcoming the limitations of rubrics, especially in the context of grant review, requires thoughtful designs, regular reflection, and iterative refinement. Here are some recommendations to consider when designing and implementing a review rubric. Define clear objectives. Before starting with the rubric, clarify what you intend to assess. These can be overall project goals, specific competencies, or other criteria relevant to your context. Collaborate with other actors. Engage with those colleagues that will be using the rubric, and if possible, with those that have been evaluated by it. This includes reviewers, applicants, and program staff. Ask them to provide feedback to get different perspectives and insights that will strengthen the tool. Be specific on the criteria. Ensure to clearly describe each criterion in the rubric. Avoid vague terms open to multiple interpretations. Allow space for qualitative feedback. Allow reviewers to add comments or qualitative feedback to capture insights that might not be evident in the score alone. Also, these spaces can help to account for innovative proposals that do not fit neatly into predefined criteria. Simplify. While detail is important, also aim for simplicity. An over-complex rubric can be cumbersome to use. Aim for a comprehensive but user-friendly rubric. Furthermore, provide comprehensive training. Organize training sessions for reviewers to ensure they understand the intent behind each criterion and how to apply it consistently. 
These trainings can be in person, live online, or asynchronous. During these training sessions, encourage open discussions about potential areas of ambiguity and misinterpretation. This feedback can also be requested asynchronously. Include flexibility in the process. Encourage reviewers to consider the entire proposal rather than getting too focused on individual rubric items. This will help in recognizing the broader value of potential of a proposal. Review panels are good mechanisms to discuss and provide feedback outside of the limitations of the rubric, capturing unique aspects of each proposal. The discussion happening in review panels also help to highlight areas where the rubric may be leading to inconsistent interpretations. Diversify the pool of reviewers. Having a mix of backgrounds, expertise, and perspectives among reviewers can help minimize the impact of personal biases and provide a more holistic assessment. Seek feedback. Encourage applicants and reviewers to provide feedback to the rubric, including the clarity and fairness of the rubric. This perspective can help you to refine the tool. And finally, iterative design. Continuously evaluate the effectiveness of the rubric in capturing the desired criteria and update the rubric based on the feedback from both the reviewers and applicants to ensure it remains relevant and effective. This is the last video in a collection of training resources developed by the ProReview team and offered by the program. To access all videos in this collection, please visit the website bit.ly forward slash open ground reviewers dash videos. This video was developed by the ProReview team for the Open and Equitable Model Funding Program in collaboration with the Open Research Funders Group and the Health Research Alliance. If you have any questions, comments, or concerns, please don't hesitate to mail us at community at Thank you so much for your attention and see you in the next video.